okay now we move on to the uh, math 251 so the first thing we have to understand the introduction to natural accounting like before so number one is what is costing so what costing is actually uh, we name as a cost accounting eh, that concern with the ascertainment of cost or identifying the cost of uh, manufacturing a, a product or some sort like we do we would like to uh, identify ascertain the cost of a product or a service so in this situation we are able to uh, control the cost all right so what is management accounting so management accounting is actually concerned with the uh, giving information to the people within the organization all right so some sort like this kind of information will help the manager in the uh, organization to make a better decision why they have to make better decision to make sure that the company can improve their efficiency of the existing operation and then uh, it is concerned with uh, we have to identify present and interpret the information in order to assist management so with this kind of information we identify the info we presenting we interpret and then we would like to formulate the policies and also we have we are able to plan and control the operation of the business so what is financial accounting i think that you are really understand what is financial accounting so financial accounting is concerned with the provision of the information to the external parties some sort like the, we prepare the financial statement for the company for the whole year to the outsiders why we have to prepare because the outsiders some sort like uh, the shareholders uh, would like to see whether the company is making profit or not in order to make an investment and it could be the customer to see whether the company is stable enough or not and uh, what's not not uh, and, 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 and so on and then uh, financial accounting is related with the classification recording of the transaction in monetary terms of course we prepare the financial statement eh? and then uh, with what with the principles of the accounting standard and then uh, that will affect the transaction and the performance of the financial position so here what will be effect on the transaction that will give impact to the financial position of a company now we have we, we can see the difference between the management accounting and financial accounting i think that previously you also already understood what is the difference between the two but then we would like to highlight some more number one is uh, users who who is the user of the information for the financial accounting is actually more towards the external or person outside of the company some sort like shareholder the creditors the customer the tax authority bankers and so on so that there, there is a various reason for shareholders they would like to see whether the company is profit or not for the creditors if they would like to lend the money they would like to see whether the company are able to pay them back or not for the customers of course they would like to buy from the uh, established company for the uh, government for the tax right so they would like to see whether they can tax the company or not the bankers whether the company are able to pay them back or not all right for the management accounting it focus on the internal users right internal it means that the person inside or the 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 organization itself right for the uh, managers uh, for the whether they are effective or not during uh, doing the business all right in terms of legal requirement so according to financial accounting is a statutory requirement it means that it's a compulsory according to the act but then for management accounting is the optional it's up to you whether you would like to have or you don't have all right in terms of time dimension in terms of time so this one is based on the historical data so what we record is the transaction that already passed what about the management accounting it reports on the future events based on the past and current data some sort of like we would like to see the budget is it's actually for the past so where to get the information uh, is for the future so whether where to get the information in order to get the future event is actually based on the past data so we are able to plan and 
controlling. Alright, number four, in terms of the analysis and the segment, when we prepare the financial accounting, we prepare for the whole company. Yeah? So it means that the financial statement shows true and fair view. Uh, sorry, the financial statements of the company, whether they are making profit or loss, is actually for the whole company. It, could, it couldn't be uh, uh, what we call the marketing side or the production side or the admin side so it will give the information for the company as a whole but for the management company it focus on the small segment it depends on the what segment that you like to give the information to get the information and uh, it should be in the monetary and non-monetary terms for example if we would like to see the production all right the standard hours you know it's not necessarily in terms of rm it could be uh, for example, how many idle hours that we have in a factory. All right, in terms of precision, so it means that the financial accounting should be accurate, even though zero point zero one cent, it could uh, we uh, supposed to not make a mistake. But for management accounting, it's actually the estimates. The thing is not really actually uh, happen. Eh? All right, next one, what are the similarities between the two, between the management and the financial accounting, all right, in terms of function? So in terms of function, uh, which are decision making, record keeping, and performance evaluation. So these are the same. So both the need for the decision making, it doesn't matter for the financial or management. In terms of record keeping, we would like to save all the info and also for the performance evaluation. We would like to see whether the company is performed or not performed compared with previously. All right, number two, in terms of the information. So information found that the principle of stewardship, which means that the firm must responsible and accountable for the financial and operating performance. So we would like to see that whether the company is uh, res responsible okay, for their financial and operating, operating performance. So this, they really need the information. And then the common collection system, it shows that use, they have to collect data uh, for, the, uh, for both one. All right, so we continue here in details. Uh, similarities right this decision making it doesn't matter what uh, accounting is it uh, account uh, financial or management so we have to uh, make a decision but the decision would um, be differ all right <clears throat> so both financial and uh, management uh, or managerial accounting are able to are used to make a decision Management accounting, uh, a management accountant internally, financial accounting externally, right? But both are making decision in terms of recording. It shows that they have to classify, quantify, gathering of the information to the transaction. All those data they have to record. Performance evaluation. So by this one, they are able to measure the performance, right? Uh, some sort like uh. To find the difference between actual and planned performance for future uh, improvement. All right, number four is accounting aspect. So they would like to see the procedures and guidelines can be used accordingly. All right, so both really need this kind of uh, uh, accounting aspect. And then for the stewardship accounts accounting, so both. Management accountant and uh, financial accountant, they are responsible to record and report the performance. All right, so if we are the management accountant, so what are the things that we have to do? Number one, we have to plan. So plan by providing information, all right, assist uh, what product to sell and etc. So these are the decisions that we would like to make. Uh, in terms of planning and then setting goals developing methods in achieving them so same also so we have to plan so how supposed we plan so from the information and then in terms of controlling why we have to control because so this kind of control to make sure that 
the uh, all the uh, all the things that we target target that we are able to uh, achieve so we need to control the company performance in order uh, to 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 achieve the target that already uh, uh, what we call set up all right, so determine whether the goals are met. We have to see, all right, we have to control, just like what I said just now, whether they are able to get the, the goals that we target. All right, and then or the mission or the vision that we would like to have in our company. And then the next one, we, we are draw the uh, manager's attention to the specific activities. Uh, do not uh, confirm to plan. So we have to see uh, this kind of the activities to make sure that we are able to control the company to achieve what they want. All right, in terms of organizing, so organizing here is actually uh, represent the design and implementation of accounting system for better uh, defining and consolidating the relations between centers to ensure effectiveness of the performance so it means that we have to organize organize among the department organize among all the workers and so on all right motivating in terms of budget and performance to see whether they are able to motivate the personnel of the organization all right so this one is some sort like the, um, when we have this kind of uh, important thing we are uh, as the management accountant are we able to motivate other people inside the company all right in terms of communication what suppose uh, we do so make sure that we install and maintain an effective communication uh, in the company itself right so who's going to be responsible whether the information from the uh, lower staff is achieving to uh, go through to the top level management all right so role accountants in the management process eh? all right in terms of financial accountant is actually the preparation about the organization past operation just like what i said just now we collect all those information invoices and so on all other documents in order to prepare the financial statement and then for the managerial accountant, so what they have to do is provide information and recommend various courses of action. So we have to get this kind of information and then we have to assist in decision making. Whether we would like to continue the product, whether what are supposed to be done if we, uh, some sort like, if we really have our budget. So what supposed we do if uh, we couldn't have enough money and so on. All right, managers use uh, to information to make decision, what I, I informed earlier. In order to make decision, we need the information. And then, information need by the managers are different from uh, external. Of course, the internal information and external should be different. The shareholders' information, whether they would like to invest, is different from the managers' information, whether they would like to do with the certain branch or certain product. And then information used for planning, control, and forecasting. So, of course, uh, this kind we have uh, in order to plan, to control, and to forecast, we need this kind of information. And then involve past, present, and future. All right, conclusion, managerial accounting provide information for, for decisions makers inside. So, this one, inside the organization, managerial accountant. Eh? But financial accountant decision for the outside for the external all right so the primary function of the a cost or management accountant number one for the inventory valuation we understand before how supposed we uh, value our inventory number two provide relevant information for better decision it could be for the profitability pricing make or buy product mix or discontinuation so this kind of the what we call information that uh, uh, will help the manager in order to make a decision okay so it's not only this uh, there should be more than this all right provide information for planning control and performance it doesn't matter for long term and short term predict performance and also a performance report that widely used 
Alright, characteristic of the usefulness of the information. It shows that the information to be useful, it should be relevant. So how come the relevant is very important? So relevant is actually the key factor because flexible nature, managerial accounting information can take any from the man manage management choose. So the information that we need, it should be relevant to the things that we would like to make a decision. In a complex financial world, an endless stream of information is available so, to management so that we need to determine which information should be considered and which information should be ignored. We have to decide. In order to make a decision, for example, in order to produce a product, should we take the consideration all the fixed costs together or only we can just can take the variable cost. So which information is relevant in order to make a decision? All right, the next one will be the accuracy. Accuracy is actually how accurate that is. Eh? So even though managerial accounting is based on estimate, uh, it's, not, uh, it's supposed not to be the exact figure, but the information should be accurate as possible. Even though it's not exactly, but it should be the accurate as possible. All right, in terms of timeliness, in terms of time, so <clears throat> it's crucial because management operates in an increasing dynamic and competitive business. So the concept of timeliness simply means that information should be as current as possible in order to make decision. For example, if you would like to make decision for this month, you cannot use the information that you have in last year. Okay, so it should be current current information in order to make a decision. So the timeliness also means information must be available quickly when needed, enable management to take appropriate action and make the re relevant uh, decision. So outdated information will lose its value. So if we make decision now based on our previous information, some sort of like will not be relevant. Understandability. So it shows that the information that we get should be understand or should be clearly understood eh, in order to uh, make a decision or to use the information. And the information should be reliable. Reliable means that you can rely that the uh, free from any error or bias. Okay. And then complete. The information should be complete. It should not omit in a certain part. All right, now we move on cost effectiveness. So the other one is for the cost effectiveness. So the information should be cost effective. It must not be too expensive. If too expensive, it means that uh, it's not worth it. So information must uh, exceed its cost. It means that must provide a cost benefit test for each application. All right, for example, vast quantities of information can be developed with the computer today. However, the process of the gathering information costs money and its value must exceed its cost. So the information that we got, of course, it should be exceed uh, the, the, the cost that the benefit that we get should be more benefit from the cost. All right, so accountant should aim to provide information to the right people, okay? The right people, it means that if the person inside should be right people inside at the right quantity at the right time. And then better quality decision might be made by postponing a decision until more information, okay? If we don't have enough information, we cannot make at that time, so we have to postpone. Decision, however, must be often uh, often be made promptly if they have no maximum influence on future events. And then management account a thing information should be produced if it's considered that the benefit from the use information exceed the cost. So benefit should be more than the cost. All right, nature and purpose of the internal management uh, reporting. So for the internal management reporting it shows that the reporting of the management internally yeah, is a financial data 
it could be uh, RM or financial data, it could be other than that. The information assists others in man managerial decision making. Of course, it would like to make a decision such as expenses report, capital budgeting and other information. So next one goes of the uh, internal management reporting. So implementing solid internal management reporting is one of the most step uh, of a company can take to effectively accomplish the following major goals. Number one, manage the business day to day. So from the information, so from the reporting, they are able to manage day to day and then align the incentive of the employees with the organization as a whole. So it shows that if the employee and the organization, if they are not in line, so it means that the company is facing a problem. And then create the create and manage solid uh, controls environment in the company. So here the decision making model number one, not model number one is we identify the objective, and then search for the alternative, get for data, select alternative. After we select, we implement, and then compare the actual and plan, and then we re we respond to the divergence from the plan. Okay. So this is the decision making pro uh, model. It is not necessarily in management accounting. Also in life, also we can use this one. So what is your main objective? So what will be the alternative you can do? So you can get all the information and then you can select the information, uh, select which uh, alternative is the best plan for you. All right, so the decision making process uh, in detail. All right, so this one, I think that you are able to identify, to search, to gather, to select, to implement and compare actual and respond, just like what I explained just now, right? So it means that I think that you are able to understand it's not too difficult here. So this is the process. So this process you can implement in your life. All right, so changing competitive environment prior to 1980. So it's the organization operate in the... Uh, protected, uh, protected uh, competitive environment. So they have a barriers of the communication, little incentive. But during 1980s, 1980s is uh, advanced a little bit. So begin to encounter server competition and then establish global network. So you are able to see others eh? and then provide the uh, privatization, intensive uh, competition and expanding product range created for the organization that focus on the management uh, accounting. Because previously in the, uh, prior years, it shows that uh, they're really focusing only on the financial accounting. They are not focusing on the management accounting. So the impact of the changing environment of uh, management accounting system. So it shows like when you use the IT here to support the business activities has increased with the development of the electronic business and communication technologies. So it means that they keep on improving. And then consumers are becoming more uh, discerning when purchasing product and then cost saving from the streamlining business processes and so on. Eh? All right, customer satisfaction and management approach. So to compete in uh, to compete in the today's competitive environment, so the companies need to become more customer driven. So customer driven means that they are really focusing on the customer itself, or really focusing on the customer satisfaction. So if the they sell the product but the customers are not satisfied. So nowadays, it shows that, especially now, eh, so everything should get the customer satisfaction. So in order to provide the customer satis satisfaction, the organization must concentrate on the key factors that are really affected, uh, such as cost efficiency, the quality, the time, and also the innovation. Organizations are also adopting new management approaches in their quest to achieve the customer satisfaction so they have to adapt new management approaches so just like not previously eh, what they did the customer have to accept but now not no more eh? 
So the organization will follow the customer satisfaction. All right, so the key success factors here, number one is the cost efficiency. So cost efficiency is uh, keeping the cost low and also can provide an organization with the strong competitive advantage, even though they're less cost, but they are able to compete. In terms of the quality, so customers demanding high quality product, so the companies can focus on the quality of the product itself. Eh? So you can see the TQM has been uh, established and so on. In terms of time, the organization seek to increase the customer satisfaction by providing a speedier response to the customer request. For example, if you buy from Shopee, from TikTok, if you're not satisfied, you can check with the seller and so on. All right, in terms of innovation, so company must keep a steady stream of the innovative product and services to adapt changing customer requirement. So they keep on improving innovation uh, from, the, uh, from the product itself. So importance of the IT or information technology is to support the business activities. All right. And then, uh, uh, such as we have the e-business, e-commerce, and so on. I think that nowadays we purchase using online. Eh? It doesn't matter, even the food panda and so on. So customers have become more selective when purchasing products and services because they are able to derive more information from the internet. For example, whether the customer is satisfied with this product or not. If you see the rating is not good, I don't think that you would like to buy from this kind of this a kind of seller. Alright, e-commerce have provide a potential to develop new ways of doing things that enable considerable cost saving. For example, now you are able to buy things from China directly, but previously all the thing must be transported to Malaysia and then you have to buy in Malaysia, but now you can uh, pay, uh, buy directly. Yeah? Alright, so the ability to use the e-commerce uh, more proficiently than competitors provide the potential for the companies to establish a competitive advantage. For example, ticketless travel, more passengers receive email confirming their booking, so this one will cut costs. Previously, if you would like to book the air ticket, you have to be go to the agency and so on. But nowadays, you are, are able to make a comparison of the air ticket. You can use uh, various uh, apps to make a comparison such as Trip.com and so on. Just to see which, uh, which company or which airlines give you the lowest one. And then intensive use of the IT in the admin and management aim to run a paperless office just to reduce the cost and so on. All right, thank you.